More on that breaking news. An 11-year-old boy shot in Chicago's West Pullman neighborhood tonight. He's the second child shot in the area this week. CBS 2 Stephen Graves has the latest from Comer Children's Hospital. Dana, this news is definitely rattling for this community that just saw an 11 year old girl shot and critically injured. Thankfully tonight that boy shot is expected to be OK. You can see police investigating at the scene this evening. Our crews arrived to find officers putting up crime scene tape. We also saw multiple shell casings at 119th and Eggleston Avenue. That's where the shooting happened around 545 this afternoon. Chicago police say someone shot the boy in the arm as he sat in a vehicle. Officers believe the shooter just pulled up beside the car in a white Honda and then drove off. Again, that boy is expected to be okay. If you know or you see this individual or you got the license plate number of this car, give that information over to the detective. We got to stop complaining. We got to get on the grounds. We got to stop this and it can be stopped, but we need help on all ends. It was just a little more than a mile from here where another child was shot this past Monday. 11 year old Nyandria Dyer was caught in the middle of crossfire as she sat in a car at a gas station near 127th and Wentworth. She is still in serious condition on life support here at Comer's Children's Hospital. After that bullet hit her spinal cord, her family is hoping her brain swelling goes down. Police have not caught the person responsible for either of these shootings. There is still that $30,000 reward up for information leading to the shooter in the Andreas case. Many people hoping she pulls through. Reporting at Comer Children's Hospital, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. On Friday, community members held a prayer vigil for Niandria outside of her hospital room.